on today's episode of snack chat we have a very 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 super talented young man to have a conversation with he's into special effect makeup before we begin don't forget to subscribe to the channel click on the subscribe button and the little bell this to get notified anytime we come live the show is proudly sponsored by OC Kodjo Royalty. Their number is on the screen. Pick them and call them. And also PK Men Construction and Jonathan Digital Stamps and Seals. And also Grand Kasamura Hotel. Pick up their numbers and call them for special services. We have on today's episode... Nathaniel Amewuga, who goes by the stage name Kuz K. He's into special effect makeup. You're welcome. Thank you. We're glad to have you. So why Kuz K? <laughs> okay, um, Kuz K <clears throat> is actually the brand name. Okay. Yes. So uh, as you said earlier, my name is Amewuga Nathaniel. Okay. Yeah. I'm an artistic director, a prop creator, and a special effect makeup artist. Wow. Yeah, so that is That's it. That's nice. It's a whole package. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when we're in school, were you having this idea? Like, do you know that today you'll become a special effect makeup artist? Um, funny enough, I so didn't have any idea of becoming a special effect makeup artist. Okay. You know, um, the whole driving thing was about acting. Okay. I'd wanted to be an actor. So way back in SHS, you know, when we used to yeah. be in the drama club yeah, and Charlie, true. those kind of <laughs> entertainment vibe. I was more into the entertainment thing more than any other thing. So I felt after school, I wanted to go more into the entertainment mm -hmm. field. Yeah, so it was through that I went to GH Media to actually further my acting career. And I realized I had this whole art vibe and okay. everything started from there. I went to class one day and our acting lecture who happens to be the directing lecturer also was teaching a little bit of what we call the Halloween makeup and okay. I was like gosh this thing is nice it's, it's, it's beautiful so why let me try it so I got to the hostel and at midnight when people are asleep I borrowed my friend's laptop and I used to browse with the school wi-fi and while people are asleep I'm watching more videos and learning Okay. what exactly is that particular thing called a special effect makeup mm -hmm. so it was through that i started having some thoughts and ideas and how to create some things and boom that was it came about just like that yeah <laughs> wow was it difficult um i'll say yes you know everything when you are beginning is is very tiring and okay very stressful especially this part of arts which is special effect in africa we don't really value or having there's no value placed on it yet so mm -hmm. people don't really understand it so i think it, it has been tough from the beginning okay. even till now it's still tough but at, at least it's better than before okay. getting off materials there are no shops there are no materials available so when we actually began it was it was really hectic because you don't after watching the videos mm -hmm. you don't even get the items to actually work with and you also don't know how to get them so for me i was thinking of ways to improvise okay. yes so that was a very hectic beginning mm -hmm. unlike people who are in the um uk's and america they have, they have shops even 18 year old girl okay. or boy can even get into a special effects shop and get something to actually yeah. work with okay but sometimes you create your own materials because I've been seeing you come up with some of them and posting it online. And yeah, exactly. When I started, because okay. we the availability of materials were not there, so okay. we have to think and create ours. Mm -hmm. How best do I actually go about? Okay, what what and what do I use to actually get the same results there? whites are getting mm -hmm. so that was how come i started creating my own products yeah my own um, improvising my own methods and all that um, but like you said earlier um in africa this uh, special effect makeup is not really appreciated so why then did you decide to do it um for me i don't know but i i have this spirit of making change okay yes wherever i go I, I want to leave a mark mm -hmm. so 
when I started initially, I told you I wanted to be an actor. Yeah. So when I felt, okay, this thing, I'm loving it. I actually decided to do more research because okay. I like reading a lot. So I decided to do more research on the, um, in the film industry, how especially fit going, okay. how, uh, so I was weighing the two options, mm -hmm. weighing the acting career and in weighing the special effects. effects. I was like, okay, both are at stake because the industry back in 2016 was like, so down and there was no hope actually if you were to be in my shoes by then you may be like oh no let yeah. me not i'll give up <laughs> yes so i felt okay since people don't really have interest in it okay why don't i take the risk why don't i take the mantle to actually put something out there since i believe in change or making impact i decided to take the um, risk the risk okay. yes so but now Everyone is talking about special effects and Kruske, yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> nice. You've been working with some celebrities. Mm -hmm. How do you get them? Uh, you know, in life, they say when, 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 I call out on him in South Chrono, on him in the good. So, you know, when I started, most people didn't really believe in the whole story, but mm -hmm. As I started pushing, 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 doing works, it started going viral and all that. Okay. People were like, oh, okay, this guy is good. Mm -hmm. They even started contacting me and be oh, like, wow. oh, Charlie, I want us to do a shoot. Oh, I want us to do this. So gradually, the moment you are out there, everybody would like to. Okay. The same way if you put sugar out there right now, you see ants coming around. Yes, but yes. if you put salt right now. <laughs> wow, interesting. Who's the first celeb you worked with? Um, okay, who do I? It was Yasmin Barudi. Okay. Yes, Yasmin Barudi, because she's actually well, my my profile on my social media yes, platforms. Yes, yeah, this is true. the lady with the bruises and yeah, the cuts yeah, yeah. and the eye and all that. She was, um, let's say, one of my favorite actresses when I began this whole thing. I when I started working on the big people, mm -hmm. I think. She was she was cool. The vibe was there, so okay. I decided to like choose as my favorite. Word. She and then um, when it comes to the ladies, I'm talking of um, Yasmin Barudi and then Cecilia, mm -hmm. Cecilia um, Anoba. Okay. Yes, and then when it comes to the guys, um, Anthony Wood, Jeffrey Norte. Stoneboy. Oh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stoneboy happens to be by chance, and I actually work with them. Okay. Their team, yes. So I wouldn't say. He's, he's my favorite, but mm. yeah. But I really love that work. The what was that? The yeah, Lagbag like yes. video. Yeah, it was it was awesome. It was it was really tiring. Yeah. Because that particular job work. and when when I remember when Rex called me. Okay. Um, I worked with Rex on Kwame Eugene's video. Which and, one? Um Obiato when he was the white guy was hitting him at the back. Okay, okay. Yes. You worked on that. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's so nice. it was through that um, he called me for the Stone Boys job, and I was like, it was even during the COVID time. Yes. It yes. COVID time. So um, it was stress because risking ourselves yeah, to go and true. shoot during that time and police worrying us on the way. Mm -hmm. We had to be checking, they'd be checking our temperatures and all that. Okay. Yeah. But it was a great video. So when did you shoot that? We shot it at Angloga, his okay. hometown. Okay. Yeah, that was where we shot. It was awesome because I, I really watched it. When you even posted it on Instagram, I was like, yeah. wow, you get to work with Stoneboy. That's nice. <laughs> so, how was it like? Okay, for, for, for us now, I think one, one, one thing I'm loving about um, special effect now is how more youth and people so are involved. trying to yes get themselves involved yeah. are trying to buy into the idea basically that was the whole plan from the onset mm -hmm. you know um sometimes people see us out there and be like hey Chris K, yeah. oh, Chris K, yeah. and it's like sometimes you know the moment you want to achieve something you have to invest yeah. and, and the the then, Time, so money, great so for me I'm loving the fact that I'm, I'm investing my whole life into this thing mm -hmm. and it's actually coming out good. good. And basically that has always been my aim and dream. <laughs> yes, basically that has always been his aim and dream. We'll go for a quick break. When we come back, the show continues. 
welcome back from that quick break don't forget to subscribe to the channel click on the little bell to get notified anytime we come live and the show is proudly sponsored by osi kojo royalty grand Casamora hotel ek men construction and also jonathan digital stamps and seals at this point it's crucial we've got to, to the crucial stage so we are about to do a little exhibition like a little touch up let's say practicals and uh, me i'm learning so it's practicals for me <laughs> on my hand so that's why it's called it's going to be called what so basically this is going to be um an injury effect so injury, effect. injury okay. basically or specifically a cut okay yes on your arm oh sh that would be painful <laughs> oh <laughs> it's not so quickly let's go straight to the point okay kindly raise your hand for me so yeah uh -huh. so the best thing every makeup artist should always do mm -hmm. is make sure before you start your work you keep your working area very clean okay yes because all these things are chemicals and maybe somebody went to use a cream mm. made by this our so-called slay queens some <laughs> these people or they feel the awasi okay. they feel uh, chemistry and the science and they say they are creating chemicals for us to use uh, glowing creams okay, and soaps okay, okay. black soap oh, okay. <laughs> so probably <laughs> if these chemicals get in contact with things like that it may give you reactions and all that so okay. always keep your working air very clean and dry okay. so i actually went with a wet towel then i go with the dry to keep the whole place clean okay yeah that's good okay so Quickly, I'm just going to take my wax, take mm. a piece of my wax. So this is what we call the scar wax. Okay. Yes. What does it do? So this is what we use to create our wounds and all that. Mm. Yes. So we have different approaches whenever you are creating stuff like this. Okay. So it may depend on what you are actually creating. Okay yes so i have my vaseline here to aid me okay in my blending mm. yes you always need that yes when you are doing your wax work it helps in making the work very easy okay. and blending very easy so i'm quickly gonna just flatten this so what I'm doing, we have two approaches when you're doing the wax work. Mm. We have the tissue method where probably I can decide to create the interior aspect of everything before I create the skin around it. Okay. But then because of time sake, mm -hmm. sometimes if you are, you are under pressure or probably you have limited time, you can just go straight with the whole wax and then you start cutting or carving or sculpting to get your the tissue. Okay. Everything, okay. right? Oh, you're a good student. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so quickly before I start, I'd have to put my adhesive to hold. Fame. Yes, mm -hmm. to hold my wax. Good <laughs> <laughs> you should, you should, you should hurry up and come and finish your course. I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so quickly, I'm just gonna put this. So now this is normal white glue we use um, the carpenters use mm -hmm. so actually when i started doing special effects mm -hmm. i was looking for possible ways of improvising okay. but then in under in an under normal circumstance mm -hmm. would have used a spirit gum or let's say a liquid latex mm -hmm. to actually serve as our adhesive okay. but i'm doing the improvisational method because of those out there who are trying to learn mm -hmm. if you don't have access to the already made stuff you can still create good special effects okay. so with my wax like this we have the original one the ready made like mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. this is the ready made okay. but then personally i created this one wow. with normal vaseline and flour mixed together yes oh that's so nice good but where do you learn all that is it online okay or? yes um i actually did some research and some also come naturally comes okay. like that because of the passion, the passion. good it. okay so i am going to blend 
gently like that you have to be very creative mm-hmm. yeah you know one thing i always say to my students i'm actually a facilitator at dh cosmetology as well that's nice yes one I thing think. i always tell my students always make sure your edges are well blended because once the edges are not blended well, it looks fake. Mm. But the moment the edges are well blended, people find it difficult to even know if there was something placed on the skin. Okay. Yes. So. So I'm learning that as well. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> My new student. <laughs> I'm a fast learner, you know. Okay. I'll learn very fast. Don't worry. I won't disgrace you. <laughs> <laughs> so. While you're working, make sure your working area is very clean. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you wait, did you actually, let me also ask you, let me interview you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so did you also think of becoming a journalist? Huh? And we are yeah, back in school, I was, yeah, ah. because, you know, I did languages. Okay. And the whole vibe, when we became prefects and all that, hey. so standing in front of Assistant people. Assistant girls prefects. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't easy, so it was like a learning process kind of thing, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was great. Nice. Okay. This is this is the only magic. Okay. Making your edges well blended and smooth. That is the little secret. People always see my work and they'll be like, ah, oh, this looks real, this looks real. Yeah. This is the secret. And the one you did with the ladies, was it? Some um I think it's a pageantry. Um one yeah. of the pageants you, you make the ladies up. And posted it. Yeah, post it was for like Africa. Abuse. Yeah, post for Africa. Yeah, that yes. look. One of the ladies it was so touching, like <laughs> abuse kind of things. Like wow, like okay. really. Okay, so now we are set with our edges. So quickly, I'm just gonna go with my toning paints. you to do this for them maybe for a movie or maybe personal shoot how much will it cost the person to get this done? so this it, it depends it depends on it depends on the um, on what I'm going to do okay right mm-hmm. so if for example I'm supposed to do this mm-hmm. or let's say for a day Mm-hmm. I actually have my daily rate. Oh, okay. Yes. You know, so if it is maybe a day also and it's not a full day, we have hourly rates we give. Mm. Yes. So if it is like a week or something, then maybe I might give you a daily like rate. Okay. So for okay. example, if like a day, I'm supposed to give you my hour rate. So in an hour, I should charge you like a four hundred dollars with materials, mm-hmm. so you are not going to provide anything the basic materials. But then, if maybe what we are going to do is needs more prosthetics or maybe advanced things, that's when maybe you can bear the cost. Oh, but okay. then, if it is normal things like this, I'm just going to give you the hour rate with all the materials provided by me. If you are in Ghana, so we want it in CDs. So you just have to do the conversion. It's not anything. It's not any big deal. You want you to do it for us. No. <laughs> because grandmothers are watching us well. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's the cost. So that's mm-hmm. just for instance. So it's not settled. It yeah. can be more. It, it can, can be, be more. Less. Yeah, it can be less. Uh, less. 
Are you sure? <laughs> oh, yes, it can be less. Oh, okay. Yes, you know, blacks. What if someone wants to learn this? Okay, so with the learning, initially we were doing 2,500. But since the demand is now high, a lot of people are trying to learn. Okay. We actually reduced it to 2,005. So oh, okay. people can actually patronize. Afford. Yes. Oh, that's nice. So. I was high demand. I was expecting high rate. No. Okay. The higher the demand, you have to reduce, reduce it. Reduce it. Yes. Okay. Because you're having a lot of people actually. Oh, okay. Coming to. So, I'm still particular about my edges. Okay. I so don't want it to feel like something was attached to the skin. Okay. So already it looks like swell. Mm -hmm. Okay, so quickly what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my translucent powder, normal baby powder. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna ask if you you did that yourself too. Oh no, no more baby powder works. Okay. Yes. So I'm just gonna dab all over it. Mm. Yes. Wow. This is looking real. <laughs> <laughs> okay so quickly i'm just gonna use my spatula to cut cut it's already hurting and another cut <laughs> <laughs> okay wow so this is the part you have to be very careful okay you don't have to cut too deep yeah you know in special effects or in arts when you're doing something you have to begin from little oh, because okay. if you start and maybe you make a mistake sometimes it's difficult to correct so once you start small you can control you have control over it mm. yes rather than starting all boom and you can't even correct yourself okay yes mm. You know, one, one, one thing about special effects, it's so uncomfortable. So even some of the actors complain. Mm. Yes, most of them. Naturally, special effects is so not comfortable. I remember I was actually telling someone about Maleficent. Mm -hmm. If you've watched that film before, yes. she sat in the chair for like close to six, seven, twelve hours. Wow. Yes, to get her transformation done. It's so Because that was... Her transformation was really massive. Yes. Very, very. So how many months will it take me to learn this? Or years? You know, this job is forever young and forever learning. Okay. So for me, the with the training we are doing now, the least we are doing is three months. Mm. Yes. So with that, you actually know your basics. Mm, okay. Then you can build upon it. Because okay. day in, day out, you are learning. Personally, I'm still learning. Mm. Yes. I'm still learning. So every day is a learning process. So you just have to be creative. Okay. Yes. So the only challenge so far... The only one you've spoken about is the how to get the material. Yes. That's the only challenge you're facing. For for now, that is it. And also with people who employ you. Okay. Yes. You know, sometimes it's 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 sad how artists are treated in general here in Africa. Mm -hmm. Artists are not being respected. Meanwhile, arts it's, it's, it's everyday life, artist life. Yeah. So the moment 
the respect is not there you, you don't expect an artist to give you a good job we do sometimes give you good job but at the end we, we don't we don't make anything so another problem here in africa or ghana to be precise is how we are being treated we are not given the rights uh, um, on payments even if you charge people tend to speak bad to you all in the name of you are fighting for your worth mm -hmm. you know it's it's sad it's it's really sad so i think that is also another challenge we are facing here so have you ever thought of um you're exposing yourself maybe internationally okay you know we are we are actually in a global village now okay. where social media is actually everything everything now so as we as we speak right now i have um a couple of people who've actually contacted me from the international market mm -hmm. yes so it's, it's just a matter of time and pro pro process okay. so gradually gradually the way we started from nowhere the same way we are going to get into the market okay yeah that's nice <laughs> So now I'm putting my thick blood okay. to actually make the wound look gory. Mm. Yes. You know, there's when when you have a cut, there's actually blood variation, which people don't pay attention to. Most especially for artists, they just put their blood and they think that's all. Mm. Please, you have to pay attention to your blood variation. Okay. Yes. So uh, how? Because <laughs> so, I'm still learning. So now we have, so that was a thick blood. Now this is a liquid blood. Okay. Usually the thick blood comes in a darker shade. Mm -hmm. And that actually makes the wound feel deep okay. and gives you a feel of some cloth blood and all that. Mm -hmm. Now we have the liquid blood, which is looking more lighter in color and also in, um, let's say, um texture it feels okay. more liquid than the thick one mm -hmm. yes so that flows more so i'm just gonna pull a little of that into that and i'll blend with my brush oh, okay it's looking realistic already <laughs> Looking realistic already, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Like I I really go ahead. <laughs> it's not easy. Mm hmm Do you get tired sometimes? Ah, every day. Oh. Cause this thing, you know, the reason why sometimes I get so angry about people disrespecting us is this thing is about thinking. Sometimes you have to be thinking on your feet. Mm -hmm. Things may go wrong. You may not get the materials you need at the time and you still have to deliver to your client. They're on your neck. You understand? So you have to think outside the box. And thinking is a whole job on its own. You get it? So you don't you people don't think of how we we suffer to get the thing done. You you don't get you don't understand the whole thing. It's it's crazy. Very stressful. Creating the thing to be so realistic is super <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Magic done. So what's the scariest? Have, which one, which of your works was your scariest work? Maybe this one, when you finish, you're like, you yourself, you got scared. Like, um, should I say I even get scared? You don't? No. For real, I don't get scared. Some of your works really scared me. <laughs> Cause I have people who ask me most of the time. They had. Didn't you have nightmares? Same question. <laughs> <laughs> Same question. I dreaming about your works. No. And people chasing you and no, like no, no, like no, back no. me like this. No. <laughs> it's normal. You know, it, it's funny how this whole thing started. You know, I I'm the type I really don't like to see blood. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if I see very real incidents, 
I get something passing through my leg. I can't even okay. stand. Yes. If I see dead body right now, I can't sleep like a, mm. for some days. So my mom personally always keeps saying, if she doesn't see me doing this, she would never believe it. Me because okay. she knows I'm scared, scared of scared of those things. Yes. Okay. I remember when they used to watch uh, the mask, Jan Tutu. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> it was hell in the house. I had to use pillow to cover my head. <laughs> but now I'm the one creating those people. <laughs> it's not easy. Ha, ah, so basically that is wow. it. Wow. This is so scary. <laughs> like <laughs> How did I get this cut? <laughs> so basically, this this is more like um, a scrape. So oh. there is a metal actually trying Let's to say maybe hook. from an accident. Yes, Gosh. you get it. So it's hooking your skin and pulling it's it scary. out. <laughs> it's very scary. So that is it. So this is what we got. A very scary one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, like. You're amazing. Thank you. You're really amazing. So this took us how many minutes? Let's see. Um, let's say roughly 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah. Oh, gosh. So on this note, we'll go for a quick break. When we come back, the show continues. Wow. This is really hurting. <laughs> like... <laughs> It's scary. I got scared myself. I, I can't believe my skin, my flesh is almost ripped <laughs> out. Like it's even out. Too. <laughs> wow, he's super talented, like I said earlier. A very, very, very talented young man. And he's actually won several sports. <laughs> and he doesn't want people to know he's hiding all these beautiful awards and his face. He's hiding it all behind the cameras. So we will ask him to tell us about the awards and then we'll show you one by one <laughs> all of them. Don't worry. So how many awards have you have you won so far? Let's um see. okay, so I think I have twelve of them. Twelve? Yeah. Wow. I have twelve. So the first one was the um, SRC Awards. When I actually was in GH Media, okay, I was the most outstanding makeup student. Wow! Yes, and also from there I had the um, Discovery Awards from um, Fashion and Lifestyle 2018. Okay. And then I have the um, Face of West African Face of Photo Arena Makeup Artist of the Year. Wow! And then I also won Best Special Effect Makeup Artist Makeup Ghana Award mm-hmm. 2019, 29, same 2020. Uh, 2019, 2020. 2019. And another and one then, in 2020. Um, I won Discovery of the Year Ghana Arts and Culture in 2020. Oh, that's yes. nice. And that's I won nice. Golden Age, same in 2020. Okay. And then 2022, I won the Best Makeup Artist again, Special Effect Whoa. Ghana Makeup Award. Now, currently, Ghana Beauty Awards. Okay. Yes. And I also won... Um, Youth in Filmmaking, YEA, Youth and Sellings Awards. Okay. And then um, I won this particular one from this, actually from Makeup Ghana and Codvets. Okay. So we were the first 10 people who created makeup curriculum for Codvets Ghana. Wow. Yes. That's nice. So that was when I was actually accredited as a makeup facilitator. Wow. So, and then I also won <laughs> Ghana Photographers Award, Best Special Effect Makeup Artist Only Award. Yeah. So all this and he's been hiding it like <laughs> <laughs> he's been hiding behind the cameras. So today we decided to bring him in front. He won't be behind again. So yes, congratulations Thank on all you. this beautiful awards. Thank you, you. You're doing amazing. You're doing amazing work. Congrats. Thank Congrats. you very much. So your final words. Okay. So hello, hello, Ghana. Yes, it's your boy Kruske. Yeah, the special effect makeup artist, the magician <laughs> who is actually creating all the wonders. Okay, so one thing I always want to tell people is, and I always say, is always follow your passion. Yeah. Let your passion be first. Please, any other thing is second. But then, before everything, too, 
we look up to God because he's the one who actually gave us life. And once there is life, there is hope. Keep it up. <laughs> once there is life, there is hope. I will adopt that. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we have finally come to the end of today's episode. And my arm is still hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yes, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please <clears throat> kindly click on the subscribe button and click on the little bell to get notified anytime we come live. And the show is proudly sponsored by OC Kodri Royalty, PK Men Construction, Grand Kasamura Hotel, and also Jonathan Digital Stamps and Seal Ventures. Contact them. Their numbers is on the screen. Their location to use there. Pick it up. Contact them. And then... They, they are at your service anytime. And you can as well follow me on Instagram at Courage Agra. My name is Courage Agra. Thanks to my lovely team, my lovely camera team, my, my producer. I love you all. Thank you so much. Catch you next week on more exciting episode. We love you. Bye.